Assalam o Alaikum everyone and Ramadan Kareem. Today I'm here to show you my Ramadan planner for the month of Ramadan. And this is not an ideal Ramadan planner. It all depends upon yourself how it works for you. I hope this works for me this year. So Ramadan is the time for Muslims to fast for the sake of Allah and to offer more prayer than usual. I'm going to be using some Dome's brush pen as watercolor paints. I'm going to be using some calligraphy pens, some color pens. It all depends upon your liking of what you really want to apply. It could be really colorful, it could be just black and white. Ever works for you the best. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It is during this month that we Muslims observe the fasts of Ramadan, lasting for the entire month. Muslims fast during the daylight hours and in the evening we eat a small meal that is called the iftar. I feel Ramadan is considered as an honorable guest, a guest that visits us once a year and brings with it all sorts of goodness and happiness. A guest that brings with it the wide mercy and forgiveness of Allah. Here I actually forgot to turn on the recorder for the video and I hope it's still that beautiful and you keep enjoying the forthcoming pages of my bullet journal for Ramadan. With this I end up my Ramadan Kareem cover page of my bullet journal setup. The next is my little coat page which I have decorated very beautifully and nicely. I hope you guys liked it. Ramadan is also a time for spiritual reflection, prayer, doing good deeds and spending time with family and friends. Normally, people will make a special effort to connect with their communities and reach out to people who need help. It is common to have a meal known as the suhoor just before dawn and another known as the iftar directly after the sunset. It is very beautiful that at the end of the fast when the sun has gone down, usually families and friends will get together for iftar to break their fast.
little quote says the prophet said whoever fast in ramadan with iman and ihsan seek accountability he is forgiven for all his sins The next is my monthly planner or calendar for the month. I have decided to be very minimalistic and simple this time and I have planned for both the lunar and solar calendar. I have done both the Ramadan timings and for the month of April and May all together. So as to make it for myself an easy thing to have a quick glance of both the dates Next is my Quran Tilawat tracker and I have kept it very simple and minimalistic. It is said that whoever prayed at night and read the Quran during the month of Ramadan, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. The spiritual healer of the heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are in agreement that fasting softens the heart, making it more humble and kind to the recitation of the Quran. The next is my tasbih tracker. I have decided and inshallah I hope I complete my tasbih a unis this time and it is recited around 125,000 times and I have done 100 beats and each beats would represent 1,250. The tasbih is La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minas and 
this dua tasbih is very beneficial as it was recited by prophet yunus alayhi salam when he found himself in the belly of the fish it is very effective in removing any difficulty from our lives the next is my duas to remember page and here i am going to be writing the three duas for the three asharas asharas are the section of ramadan the ramadan is sectioned into three parts according to 10 10 and 10 the first 10 days the mid 10 days and the last 10 days so the first 10 days are known as the days of mercy and the dua means oh my lord forgive and have mercy and you are the best of merciful the second ashra are the known as the days of forgiveness and the dua means i seek forgiveness from allah my lord from every sin i committed and the last 10 days that is the third ashra are known as the days of seeking refuge and the dua means o oh allah save me from the hell the fire The next is my things to do on Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, marks the night in which the Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by Allah. Muslims regard this as the important event in history, and the Quran says that this night is better than a thousand months, and that on this night the angels descend to earth. I have written some of the things which I want to do on Laylatul Qadr and I will be writing more in the upcoming days of the Ramadan. With this I come to an end of my Ramadan planner. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and keep looking for the upcoming videos. Thank you and have a blessed and prosperous Ramadan. See you all again inshallah